Julius, you know, the opening sequence, I think, is yeah. phenomenal. It is you know, awesome. Yeah. I'd love Sorry. to just... <laughs> I, I, I'm not I, in it so I can see it. Yeah, I, I loved it. I'd just love to know a little bit about how it was conceived and yeah. executed. <laughs> When I first read the script, you know, I was like, um, there's, there's, there's a potential here to do something really cool. But I was like, how can I get the audience to feel really immersed? And I wanted to really be subjective for them. When you do a longer take, that, that feeling, um, that first person feeling helped. And so that's where it came from. It was just like, how do I get the audience there? It was very uh, physically demanding. I mean, this is my first time you know, dabbling into the, the the action stuff. Just trying to add on the fact that you're acting, that you're running out of breath can kind of freak you out. But they were really patient. We had a great diving team and they had me, you know, spend a lot of time with the divers and get certified, you know, and all that stuff. So acting that out was a lot of fun and I was really proud of the final product. So it was all worth it. We built this uh, true to life C47 <coughs> and we stuck it on this giant gimbal machine which tilts uh, left, right, up and down at a 45 degree angle. So we literally had our uh, our lead, um, Javon, playing voice, uh, dangling for, his, for dear life. When you see people flying across the wall and their bodies blowing up and bullets are flying, all those are squibs, all that's real. All the guys the fire, flying across the fire, the, fire, fire, the explosion that, is real. All... They blew up the side of the plane. When the plane dips and goes down, uh, they had, I don't know how many, you know, pounds of fuel pumping into that back of it. It, it was, was like when that hot. heat, it, got it was hot. like, yeah. it was so hot and they're throwing. It was already hot to begin with up there because you're stuck in this thing with 40 guys or whatever. I don't know, a lot of guys yeah. and a camera crew. It is so claustrophobic. And then when you get outside, it's like, whoa, it's such a big world. And then you go back in. And I think that's one of the things you really mastered in this film that you created a world that is so believable. But Julius had a vision and he stuck to it and yeah. Yeah. he always knew what that was going to be and, and it really came out. Yeah, amazing. the way they pieced it together is really master. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone was thought it was crazy, but JJ said just go for it, you know. Mm -hmm. And it was like a really expensive uh, expensive experiment that paid off. I feel like it's a ferocious war movie, but it's also like a sick monster movie too, which is amazing. What part of that did you have the most fun leaning into? I'd done action before in my previous movie and I'd never ventured into uh, the horror sci-fi um, before and so definitely the, uh, the horror sci-fi elements. And I got to do all this old school um, uh, analog, really cool in-camera um, prosthetics and we, we've got like uh, um, um, Pilo of course who has these amazing uh, prosthetics that he wore every day and was in a chair for five hours, thank you. Uh, <laughs> uh, um, Don't mention it. Don't mention the war. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we also did uh, this really cool uh, thing where a guy snaps his neck back yeah. and uh, we did that with puppetry and, 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 and old school animatronics and I think the audience gets off that because it's visceral and it, you can feel the, the texture and, mm. and... Nothing beats reality, you know? I think that the transitional element from going from real to genre uh, it was really fun to watch how that was, how, how, how the movie tried to transcend the movie that you were watching, that you thought you were watching. Exactly. And uh, I think that they did that really smoothly. I thought it happened really well. Um, it wasn't, there wasn't a jolt. It kind of eased you into the fact that this was an alternate universe mm -hmm. and you were going to feel some things and see some things that you didn't think you were going to see. Um, but yeah, I thought that I thought the way they melded that with the genre element, you know, to, that is an overarching thing to say. But that was kind of my favorite thing about it—that seamless transition.